Hello there, and welcome to the Toy Box. Today I have another exciting video for you. Today, LEGO released this 50th anniversary set for Walt Disney World, and I'm super excited to open it up. I figured that I'd build it on this channel in order to celebrate Walt Disney World's 50th birthday. This set contains 567 pieces, and it, it's basically a small model of the Cinderella Castle. And it also includes a Mickey Mouse minifig, which if I'm not mistaken is exclusive to the set. On the side of the box you can see the logo for the celebration. You can see a picture of the real castle and some of the features. Apparently this is 8 inches tall and 5.5 and inches wide. And here is the other side of the box. And back to the front. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and build it along with you guys. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to set this box aside. Here we have a few bags and the handy manual, and we'll see how long this takes to build. The cool thing about the manual is that it does include quite a bit of information regarding the parks. I like how they include real images, and they include all the information in different languages, which is very cool. Okay, so let's see. Let's get this thing started. Let's see. Okay, so we'll start with the bags of number one. Again, 567 pieces. Quite a bit, but I think we'll be able to build it. So I'm sort of a messy builder in the sense that I know a lot of people like to sort the pieces. I'm more of the try to find the piece when I get to it <laughs> type. Um, we'll see how that goes. And of course, as always, missed a few pieces in the bag. Gotta get those out. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna build the base and we're gonna build Mickey. Um, so, very cool. Okay, so let's see if we can find all the Mickey pieces. Okay, I think I found his body. Okay. And let's see if we find his pants. Oh, see, this is probably why people do sort them out. Ah, oh, there we go. You were red. Okay. There we go. There he is, all handsome with his little bow tie. Okay, we'll set him aside. Um, right here. He can watch us as we build. Okay, so we'll start with one of these. It looks like we're going to add... Let's see. Okay. And then another flat piece. The two. There we go. Look at us go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Step three. Then we're going to include this piece right here. Oh, it's a longer one. I see. And this one will connect to this final piece. Okay, there we go. Pretty good. I'm sorry for the glare and the bad lighting. I'm definitely working on that. Trying to do some things differently trying to get the best quality out. I've been switching my microphone and testing different ones to see which one gives out the best audio. I've been trying to work with my setup, seeing what's the best lighting option. So, bear with me. <laughs> okay, 
So I think that goes there. And then we have one more. Oh, there we go. And this one goes here. I do think it's a longer one for this side. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that piece instead. Okay. So this set released today um, alongside other sets. Um, I think this is the only Disney set that released today. And I'm a big Disney fan. Um, I know that, again, Disney World celebrates its 50th birthday today. Which, honestly, I wish I was there celebrating at the parks. But alas, that's not possible right now for me. Um, so I'm glad that I was able to find this set and, you know, experience a little bit of the magic. But nothing like being in the park on its birthday. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're almost there. I believe I'm good. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, we have this nice big piece here. I'm going to go ahead and take off the band-aid. Please excuse the, the cut I have in my on my finger. I cut it at work. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's just a little bit of missing skin. I know that's not... <laughs> that's not really fun to hear, but... The band-aids never stick, especially when they're on your finger and you're using your hands for everything. Okay, there we go. Look, already was level... or step eight. So, I'm on page 19. 139 pages, so we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so... Um, I mean... I, when I saw this set, or rather when I heard this set was going to release, I got really excited. I have the the full size castle that came out a few years ago and it's one of my prized possessions. Um, it was a birthday present to myself um, and I love it. I actually was one of those sticklers. I reminded myself of the, the father in the Lego movie. I was literally super gluing every single piece of that castle. Um, the reason I did that is that earlier I had bought the Simpsons house of when that when that first released and I built it and it was a beautiful piece but when I moved it got destroyed something fell on it and pieces went everywhere and yeah it really did get destroyed which was upsetting for the price because of the price I paid and again it was a a limited time set. Um, so after that one, when I received or when I purchased the castle, I definitely wanted to preserve it as long as I possibly could. Um, so I did end up gluing it together. I'm sorry that that's against, you know, a Lego rule, but um, that way I can keep it for a long, long time and not have to worry about anything falling. Um, or breaking off. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. I have a tendency to sometimes skip one piece and then it bites me in the butt a little bit later. So hopefully that's not happening. Um, yeah, so I've always loved Legos. I just never had the space or a place to put them in. Um, hopefully, eventually I will. But as of right now, um, a lot of the sets I've been buying, I've been like, you know, saving. Um, and it's hard because I just want to open them all up and just build them all. So, yeah, I can't wait till I do have some space. Um, and that way, I can build all the, all the sets I have acquired. Um, earlier today, I believe, if I post this when I'm intending to, um, I posted another video of a Legoland haul. Um, and I was able to receive, not receive, but purchase for myself the Legoland Park. And that's one of the sets I would probably wait until I had the place to put them in. A lot of the smaller sets I don't mind building, like this one, or um, 
for example, in that video, I showed that I got the taxi or the Statue of Liberty. Those I don't mind building. Um, those, I, I, yeah, I don't mind building because they don't take up much space. Um, they're easier to, you know, put away, store, until I do have the ideal amount of space. But we'll see. I mean, if you guys really want to see me build it, I don't mind at all trying and building some of those sets. Okay, let's see. I think we're making good time. Let's see. I mean, <laughs> hopefully I'm a little bit entertaining. I'm planning on not only releasing, releasing like the full version of this, I guess, but um, maybe a speed build too. Um, for those who just want to watch the build quickly. Um, but I'm usually the type of person who likes to um, put some background noise while I'm doing something. Uh, so, hopefully this serves as that. Um, and again, I'm pretty new at all of this, so let me know what's working, what's not. I'm open to suggestions. Okay, there we go. I think that's those pieces. So, if you notice, I'm usually... I focus more on what I need to add rather than the pieces <laughs> that I need. And maybe it, it, it is a bit smart, smarter to, you know, pull out the pieces I need and then insert them. That way I don't miss any. Um, but uh, again, I'm... I <laughs> you know, things have happened where I've paid the consequences, I guess. <laughs> Where I forget some pieces and then I'm like, wait, something's wrong and I have to go back and figure it out. Probably doesn't, isn't effective, efficient, but here we are. <laughs> Let me know what type of Lego builder you are. Do you super glue your pieces or your sets? Do you just keep them laying around? How do you store them? I'm open to here. Um, I think that's the hardest part with Lego. It's finding a place for all of them. There's so many awesome sets, so many to collect, and I just feel like I don't have room for them. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, and trust me, I have a, quite a few sets that are sitting in boxes, and you know, maybe one day I'll show you all those different sets I do have in my collection. Okay, there we go. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. It's not difficult at all, yet. I don't want to jinx it. Two of these go that way. Let's see. Okay. So I knew this set was going to release today. And in my mind, I was like, oh my God. I have a Lego store near me. And I was afraid that it was going to be sold out. So my plan was to stay up to midnight. Um, knowing I would probably regret it because I had work the next day. Or today. Um, but... Either way, I was like, you know what, I'm going to stay up, I'm going to order the sets, have them ordered, just in case I can't find it at the store. Um, and turns out that I fell asleep, <laughs> I know, um, at like 11, <laughs> so I was waiting till midnight, um, and I uh, have Eastern time, so I, again, I didn't know much about releases, I've never you know, waited or been excited for a release as much as I was for this set. Um, especially since it's an exclusive, it has the 50th logo and everything. I thought that this was a good set to grab. So, yeah, I fell asleep and I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh. I woke up like at 5 a.m. Um, and I quickly was like, oh, let me let me hop on and see. And of course, everything was on back order already. It wasn't sold out, but I wasn't able to get the ones... I mean, the few sets that I did want, I wasn't able to get them quicker, I guess, through the site. Either way, I did place a back order. I actually ordered um, one of these castles, and then I decided to order the, the Santa sleigh that includes a reindeer. I ordered two of those just because I know Santa has eight and sometimes nine with Rudolph. Nine reindeers, so um, I wanted to have a full set of reindeers. That's basically why I ordered that. 
and yeah, so I put those, both of them were in back, back order, so I put that order in. And after work, I decided to stop by the Lego store, my local Lego store, to see if they had any of the sets left. I I mean, I wasn't really expecting much when I went. I was like, oh, it's probably all sold out. It's pre I mean, Disney's pretty popular. This Santa sleigh, you know, all the the holiday ones are usually popular too, especially the the Christmas ones. So I went in with with low expectations, I guess. <laughs> and once I got there, um, I noticed the f first off, I noticed the sleigh. I saw the sleigh on on display, and I was like, oh, there's a few left. Let me let me just grab one. And then I saw that by the original castle, I, I um. The boxes for this set um, were displayed and I was like wow they're right here um there were a few left I wouldn't say um, that they were like sold out definitely not but also I'm pretty sure if I waited a day or two it would have been completely gone and I've had again I've been going in constantly you know to check for the Marvel blind bags and you know my in my mind I was like oh it's you know they sell out they'll come back in stock I just have to you know it's luck making sure I'm there at the right time but no I, I went in there and I, I got lucky um, so I did since I did order the two sleighs online the store had a limit of one I decided to not pick up any of the sleighs I did pick up other holiday ones that are pretty new and I'll I might reveal that a little um, in a later video but um, I figured I would get them in time for the holidays the expected time is mid October for the Santa sleigh so I said uh, or I thought to myself yeah I'm gonna have um, plenty of time to you know obtain them and hopefully build them you know on my channel so whoa let me just quickly see this. I'm doing something wrong here. Maybe I skipped something. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Let's see. This one goes here. Ah, okay, okay. There, see, I figured it out. <laughs> Took a little bit, but I figured it out. Um, so as I was saying, um, I figured I, I was going to get the Santa sleigh in time. So that wasn't really a, a big concern. So I, And I did decide to pick this one up because, again, uh, how cool. I thought it would be cool to upload a build of this pretty amazing set right on the anniversary of the park. So, yeah, it wasn't a bust. And actually, while I was there, I noticed that they had a few blind bags, some of the Marvel Studios. So I did grab a few more. So I have a, quite a few to open up in my next um, unboxing video. So stay tuned for that. I'm super excited to see if I'm able to complete my collection. <laughs> and again, uh, if you saw my other video, you'll see that. You'll see what... What a show that was. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, I think that was it for this. Let me go. We're already almost... Mm, page 36. Um, again. I hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Two of these, okay. Almost there. As you can see, I'm running out of pieces. So, that's a good time. I'm almost done with this section. Um, this one I don't feel like I have to, you know, super glue or anything. It's a smaller set, um, so the probability of it getting, you know, knocked over or getting something, <laughs> something falling on it is much less. Um, and it wasn't nearly as expensive <laughs> as, um, you know, the original full size castle. Um, yeah, and that's definitely probably my favorite set out there right now is that full-size castle. 
So glad I was able to get my hands on that one. Um, I did hear rumors that it's going away soon. It's been, I think, three years since it was released. And usually that's like the life, life, the lifespan of a Lego set. You know, before they get retired. So I'm really hoping that... Um, or I'm really glad that I was able to get it. Um, I do want to get that Disney train station. I think that's going to be my next, you know, birthday to myself. Well, birthday present to myself. I can't even speak. <laughs> okay. I think we're good there. Let's see. Um, here's a few extra pieces, I'm assuming. Let me just make sure. I think we only use two of these little guys. These little mini figs. I think those are so cool. I'm assuming this is the size of the... Um, of the Lego Statue of Liberty. Let's see if it focuses. Again, not an expert. Look how small he is. <laughs> um, on the Lego architecture set. So we'll see. Um, okay. So I'm going to set these extra pieces to the side up here. Out of frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up all the bags that say two. Okay, there we go. It's open. Um, so, I always wondered this, um, I know I'm not the only one because I've talked to my friends and family about it, but when I watch a lot of these type of videos where it's like a building me or doing something with, um, with someone where it takes a little bit more time, how do you watch it? In the sense that I usually watch, well, granted, not just these type of videos, I watch 99% of my videos on YouTube two times speed and um, a lot of people are like what how do you understand anything and it's funny because I mean I, I, I perfectly understand I know what's going on and everything it's never been an issue of oh I don't I don't understand what's going on <laughs> so yeah like do you watch videos two times speed or am I the only one well again I know I'm not the only one because I do have um, one of my cousins actually brought it up and said that, you know, she has no time for reg regular length videos. Everything she watches is two times speed. And I said, whoa, 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 that's what I do too. Um, and yeah, of course, all our other friends, family, always saying, whoa, how is that even possible? How do you understand anything they're saying? My mom, um, tends to walk in quite frequently when I'm on YouTube and she's like, how do you understand, like, what? They're talking so fast. Is that normal? And I have to explain that you can, <laughs> you can, you know, make the video a little bit faster with the click of a button. I think we're good here. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if I was watching my own video, this one, I would probably be putting it two times speed. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Again, I'm sorry if it, if it's too long. Um, Feel free to skip um, to see the final product or the final build. Um, again, I don't want to bore you. I just figured it'd be fun to see this being built real time. Again, I'm looking at <laughs> my monitor and it looks like it's very... Um, there's a lot of... a big glare. I wish it was... I wish I was a better expert at all of this, but we'll see. I mean... I definitely am learning. I'm looking up. Um, I'm constantly looking up and trying different setups and and lighting options to, you know, to better the quality of my videos, and hopefully, eventually, I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, we have a little piece here, let's see this one, five times, jeez, okay, okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm a big Disney fan, um, as you can probably tell, I, <laughs> I have the little castle, I bought this one, it was my, one that I was really excited for, so um, yeah, uh, I did the Disney college program, in 2018 and basically what it is is if you're in college or able to you know take a semester and work at Disney 
a lot of people, some people will do it for a longer time. But yeah, you move down to Florida and you work at Disney World or Disneyland, depending on where you choose to go. And um, I mean, it's a fun experience. Um, you work in the parks, um, you get access to the parks. So there's always something fun to do. Um, it was honestly one of the greatest, I mean, it probably is the greatest experience of my life so far. Um, being able to, you know, move there for a bit, meet so many new people, like-minded people. And yeah, I worked there for about five months. I did custodial in Hollywood Studios, which is, now it has a big, a big piece of my heart. Um, although, you know, Magic Kingdom is my favorite, favorite park. Um, Hollywood Studios, definitely, it's up there. Um, yeah, I had lots of fun. Met a lot of people, as I was saying, and um, yeah, I wish I could do it again. And I was going to do it again before the pandemic, before I started my actual job. Um, but due to the pandemic and due to all the different things popping up, I didn't go back. Um, but it's definitely a place that I, as I was saying, I love, and it's possible that. I mean, I can see myself heading back eventually and, you know, making some more magic, as we like to say. Okay, let's see. Oh, there we go. For that one. It's not, not too bad. I think we're, we're moving along. We're chugging along. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. Um, my plan is to go ahead and upload this. October 1st. Um, I do want to edit it, edit it a little bit, just a tiny bit, but um, probably not a whole lot. I want you to see the real time of me building this. This is, a, I guess, the whole point of the video. I'm going to call it a build with me. Um, I'm thinking that eventually, eventually, not that I'm at any place to do that right now, but eventually it'd be fun to do like a live build and, you know, getting to know some of the viewers. Um, and please don't forget to, you know, subscribe, like the video, comment. Um, it definitely helps a lot. Again, I'm just starting out, so no high expectations, but it'd be cool to, you know, to share this with people who are interested in the same things as I am. Okay, let's see. Cool, cool. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, any suggestions, any ideas, please, please, please let me know. See, I forgot these two pieces, I think. Or maybe not. They're surrounded by red. I was going to say they're not surrounded red. Maybe I forgot to put them, but here we go. I think I got those. Very cool. I, I do like this little poster that we added in there. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really hard to see. But, um... It is of the castle. I should have held it up. Let me see. Oh, I took it off. Let's see if you can see that. It's like a little poster of the castle, which I think is very, a very cool detail. If you've been to Disney World and you walk inside the castle, there are huge murals. Um, I believe they're of Cinderella. Um, granted, it is Cinderella's castle in Florida. So, yeah. I think that's a cool detail, adding those little, oh, they moved the orientation of the, of the castle. Oh, well, this one, it's a little tricky to put on. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Let's see. I just want to make sure I'm still recording. Okay. Let's just double them. Oh, okay, so it's showing me it has to go this way. Oh. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. I think we got these pieces. Although one is... I don't feel like it's lined up with the other one. I don't know how important that is. I don't know what's going to go here. But, oh, it's because you're high here. <laughs> Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll leave it there and adjust. Okay. Yeah, so... As I've 
been saying, and it's, forgive me if I repeat myself, that ten, tends to happen, so, but, um, I, I do enjoy Lego, I've always have, um, again, the space, and having a place to keep them all is, <laughs> you know, it's the issue right now, um, I actually was able to, uh, babysit, um, for this family, and turns out that their basement was full, and I mean full of Legos, and um, they had a whole like area for them where they created like a whole Lego city, like, again, I, I, I keep referencing the Lego movie, <laughs> and it was just like that, where, you know, they had literally all types of sets put together, and it's, it was like a, literally a whole a whole map of pure Lego. And um, ever since I saw that, I was like, I, I guess inspired. I don't know if that's the right word, but I was definitely motivated to get more sets and like aspire to have that one day, you know? A whole like amazing Lego setup. Um, yeah, it, I mean, it was amazing. They. They had like so many sets, a lot of, you know, retired and exclusive and rare sets. And I was in awe the whole time. I was geeking out, <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah, so who knows? Maybe we'll get there one day. Oh, now I'm looking at this and I feel like I'm missing something. Or maybe I put an extra piece up here. That's my thought, just because. Ah, see, look at me, distracted. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, again, I'm sorry this is long. I keep apologizing. Um, and I don't know if you guys are accepting, accepting my apology. It's not like I'm getting a direct response, but again, feel free to skip or fast forward or watch at two times speed because that, I mean, that's what I would be doing. Um, or putting me... <laughs> I'm um, in the background while you do something else. That's totally fine, too. I won't take it personal. <laughs> um, I just thought it would be fun, too, to share this, especially on such a important day. Um, and as I think I, I was distracted, maybe I did say it, but my plan is to upload this. Um, Uh, today, which is October 1st, which is the anniversary. Um, and I know it's a little bit late. I'm going to do a tiny bit of editing and see if it uploads. You know, YouTube upload times are sometimes insane. So I'm really hoping it is able to to get on there. At least I, I, I'll be happy if it's out before midnight. That way I can say I posted this video <laughs> on the day of. Um, and again, I would have loved for it to be up sooner, but I had to work today. So that's why I wasn't able to head straight to the Lego store once it opened. Um, I headed after work and right after I hit up the Lego store, I came straight home in order to film this. So, okay, that looks like the end of that. Yeah, looks, yeah. So I guess we're building an extra piece to add on. So it looks like we're gonna have this and we have this, okay. And then we have these light looking. Oh. There we go. Um, I mentioned that I had a Legoland haul. Uh, near me, we have a Legoland New York. It's like about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and if it, there's traffic, it might be a little more. I mean, we were driving back and the traffic was terrible. But um, I'm glad it's not that far, and I mean, it wasn't as big as I expected it to be. Um, I've never been to a Legoland before um, this, but I was expecting it to be bigger, especially since I've heard, you know, great things from Legoland Florida. Um, I mean, I lived there and I didn't go. I know, what a fake fan. But... Yeah, um, let's see. I think I put that wrong. Let me see. Okay. 
I think that's right. Um, I'm sorry, I um a lot. Um, it, <laughs> I just did it. Um, oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> it, it's a, it's a habit. <laughs> I've been trying to work on it. Um, I guess I'm not successful at it. How many? Yeah. Let me know if you counted how many times I said it after I called myself out on it. Um, uh, maybe count how many times I say it throughout the video and let me know. But, yeah, it's a bad habit. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm really not doing this on purpose. But, I'm hope hopefully, it'll get better <laughs> as I continue doing or making videos. I'm not a, a big camera person. I'm, I mean, you probably haven't seen, I know you haven't seen my face yet, at least on a video. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen. Maybe one day, but for now, I can, I can barely speak and record myself and watch myself and post it. <laughs> so definitely working at it one step at a time. Okay, there we go. Is this the back side? It looks like it is. Oh, see, look at me. Oh. Okay. Okay, I thought I was missing that blue piece on top like the other two sides, but I guess not. Okay. I guess I need five of these round ones, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. Look at me, just repeating myself. Oh, do you want me? Okay, we have them here. Sorry. I might add, let's see if I can, oh, no. My scissors might hold it down, there we go. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out, okay. We need one here, I don't know if it's that way. Yes, there we go. One here, one here, and one here. Oh, I'm supposed to do it twice. Ah, oh, that makes sense. It's probably why. Look at me, not reading the actual directions, just putting things together, huh? Okay. So I believe it's this one. What's this? No, it's this one. This one. This one. Okay. Let me know. Are you planning to pick this set up? Um, are you into Disney? What type of Lego is your favorite? Um, I saw the new... Diagon Alley, I believe, from Star Wars, Star, not Star Wars, whoa, wow, I'm gonna get a bunch of the comments for, <laughs> but, um, from Harry Potter, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan, and I'm only saying that because I haven't given it a chance, not that I haven't wanted, like, it's not that I don't want to watch it, or read them, or anything like that, on the contrary, I'm really, really interested, but I do want to, I just haven't had the time. So, we'll see if this stays. Huh, I think I missed an arm, and that's not a good sign. Let's see if I'm able to push it in here, despite, here's the technical, diff here's what I mean by <laughs> missing those small little pieces and then regretting it later. I don't see the other arm in here, so, oh, there we go. Luckily, that wasn't a terrible mistake. <laughs> Gonna have to take too much apart. And now, I can go back and add that last piece right there. One, two, three, four. It's saying I'm using five. Um, it's probably this one here, of course. There we go. Okay. So, as I was saying, um, I have seen the Diagon Alley set. Um, I don't know if it's new or not, but my Lego store just recently placed it on display and I was like, wow, now that's insane. It looks very cool. Something that would have, would definitely fit nicely into like a Lego map world, whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I haven't watched all those Harry Potter movies. So let me know, should I take some time and watch it? Again, I I think it you know what's been putting me off. It's the fact that it's so many movies. Um, it almost seems like God. Like, and I'm definitely the type of like if I watch the movie, I want to read the book or vice versa. 
So it just feels like a, 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 a big commitment. And um, I don't know. I don't know if that... Oh, no. I think I put that in the wrong spot. This is the worst part. I do have a the tool. I forget what you call it, but... Not in, oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, it, seems, it just seems like a big commitment. And a lot of time. So hopefully when I do find that time, I'll be able to sit and watch and enjoy them. Um, I did something similar with Star Wars, just the original movies. I... Well, look at me getting distracted. You're probably like, <laughs> zip it and build. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, like, I did the same thing with the Star Wars movies, the, the nine movies. Um... Well, the eight movies before the ninth one came out, and I did it so fast that I felt like, I mean, I binged them, because I was going to go watch it with a friend, and um, yeah, I definitely regretted it, because after that, I feel like I missed so much, I, I didn't give myself time to process and to, to learn and take note of everything that actually happened. I was just, you know, doing things quickly in order to be ready for this movie. And I'm very, um, I guess type A in that aspect where I always want to do things in order and like, even like with the MCU, I started late, so I wouldn't allow myself to watch anything new until I caught up with everything. And I'm definitely that type of person of watching things in order, making sure I watch all of them. I don't care if they're good or not. Um, and yeah. I didn't enjoy Star Wars that much because of that. Not that I didn't enjoy Star Wars, I just felt like I missed so much. So I am planning on definitely going back and rewatching, but Star Wars I think is even bigger than Harry Potter where not only do they have movies, but they have shows, they have series, um, and everything links together. It's it's crazy. Um, I just wish I had the time. <laughs> you know? I just wish I had the time. Okay, let's see. I think that goes here. There's a lot of, like, moving these pieces around. It's a little annoying, not gonna lie, but... It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll keep apologizing until... Until... I forget to, I guess. Okay, let's see. Almost there. I see my pieces dwindling down. And then this one, I think, goes here. Yeah. Then we have these gold... Here, I'm gonna use my phone. Yeah, there we go. I'm sorry if you guys can't see. Again, I'm I'm working out the kinks, trying to make everything. Trying to work with everything. <laughs> learning curve, learning curve. Okay, let's see. Okay, got that. And on this side, yes. Okay, look at that. And then if we put this on the front, we should have, you know, the front. See, did it click? You know, I really like the set, especially because you saw that poster that I showed you. It's in here, and it doesn't look like you're supposed to get in here. So, like, knowing that it's in there, all that detail they put inside, it just blows my mind. That's why I like Lego. Like, they really do pay attention to all the details, for the most part. Um, and it's, I think it's amazing. It's incredible. Um, who's gonna see that poster? I mean, I guess you can sort of... Oh... I mean, I can't see the poster, but... I'll let you know what I see once I finish. <laughs> okay, I think those are extra pieces, and we're gonna move on to bag three. Don't worry, I think that's, that means we're halfway there, because there's four bags. So, hopefully that's a good thing. Hopefully you haven't clicked out yet. Um, again, there's gonna be a longer video, and I'm... I'm hoping you like this style of video, because I'm open to building different LEGO sets. And again, I will try to post... Again. <laughs> no, now... See, look, now I'm saying again all the time. But I will try to post a sped-up version, like a speed build. Uh, maybe some music in the background, and... Just me building it really quick, so that you can see it in... Not slow-mo, but <laughs> fast mode, I guess. But... I'm really hoping you enjoy this type too, because I don't mind babbling. At least someone's listening to me. Hopefully. Maybe no one is. <laughs> Maybe I'm sitting here talking and talking and talking for absolutely no reason. 
That's definitely possible. Um, well, I put it in the wrong spot, and now I can't get it off, and I'm scared I'm going to break something else. Take my Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I don't even know where... <laughs> okay, it went on this one. Okay. Let's see. I think it goes here, actually. Yes. That looks right. And this one goes here on the top. Maybe I should have started with the other pieces to be more sure, but so far it looks good. You let me know. You can be yelling at your screen, let me know. Oh no, that's not the place, fool. <laughs> I won't blame you. Okay, so we got this one and this one. Again, I'm not one to sort them all, even when I did the Lego castle, and that was quite a few pieces. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's well over a thousand. I think it's over 2,000. Um, I didn't sort the pieces. Mike cuts it. He's another big Lego fan. And he he has... Oh, he's the one... I feel like he, before I saw this house with all the Lego... Um, that whole Lego city being built and everything. Um, I saw... I went over to my cousin's house. Oh, of course, look. Distracted. Maybe I should just zip it. Um... I went over my cousin's house, and he, I think the first set, the huge set that he had was the Sydney Opera House, and I was just amazed at the size of that thing, the detail, and I was just like, wow, that's pretty crazy how, how detailed and insane that is. Yeah, the glare, it's terrible, I'm sorry. I'll figure it out, I promise, someday, <laughs> but, okay, where was I? Anyways, before I interrupted myself, <laughs> yeah, my cousin had the Sydney Opera House and he got the um, the London Bridge. I th I believe that's the name of the set. All these retired, mind you, and I was like just amazed. I was like looking and I was like, whoa. He had, he was running into the same problem that I always thought of, like, where am I gonna store all this? Um, he had the Batman Tumblr. He, he he went for the big sets, and I that's when I started going for, you know, bigger sets. Um, I was like, you know, I'll, I'll buy them. That he, that's what inspired me to get the, the Simpsons house, um, and that was a bigger set. But yeah, I, I decided to go and buy some and whatnot, and yeah, that, like, insane how... How detailed those were. They literally blew my mind. Again, I hope you can see me. Yell at me if... <laughs> if you can't. If I'm off frame, if I'm crooked, I probably am. It's all probably lopsided. But, here we are. Okay. There we go. Okay. And it's hard... <laughs> you guys... Yeah, it's funny. You guys are having a hard time seeing the... The actual structure, I feel. Like you are. Um, but I'm struggling with the, <laughs> with the book itself. There's some glare on my end. And I'm trying to, like, maneuver my head. And that's why you might see parts of my hair. I'm sorry. As I'm trying to <laughs> build these. Okay. That's not the right one. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then, let's see. Okay. So, I... When I went today, I asked the associate at the store, I asked, um, so I heard a rumor that a Lego Ideas Home Alone McAllister house was coming out, and I wasn't sure, I mean, I didn't hear anything official, and, um, I haven't been keeping up to date, you know, with the, with the news, um, Lego, <laughs> Lego news, <laughs> and, yeah, so I asked him today, and I said, hey, like, I, I heard that that we might be getting a Home Alone set. And he was like, oh yeah, that's the news. Um, it, I believe it'll, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's coming out in November. Again, he wasn't sure. It was his, you know, prediction. But that just made me excited. Home Alone is like, I, yeah, it's my favorite Christmas movie, definitely. Um, every time I watch it, I, I laugh. No, uh, and I quote it, I watch it so much. Watch it every holiday. I watch it multiple times every holiday, and I don't get tired of it. Well, Home Alone One and Home Alone Two. Home Alone Three, I think, was good. 
Um, but definitely not the best. Home Alone 4. Growing up, when it came out, I enjoyed it. It was another Home Alone. I was confused as to why it was a different Kevin. This happened with 3 too. Why it was a different Kevin, why the burglars were different. Everything was different. And then I rewatched it older and I was like, yeah, this isn't really gold here. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I enjoyed it growing up. And then, I don't know if anyone has seen this. I feel like it's a, it's a blur. But I believe there's a Home Alone 5 where it doesn't even pl take place on Christmas. I bu if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I might be wrong. You can yell at me again in the comments. I, I watched it once when it came out. You know, I was excited. I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. So I did. And I watched it and I think it was set in Halloween. And the kid who played Kevin, or I, I don't remember if his name was Kevin in the movie. But he, I, I didn't think he did an awesome job. And yeah, all around, I definitely did not like it. I watched it once and I told myself I was never going to watch it again. Should I probably watch it again and give it another chance? Maybe. Um, let me know if I should. But as of now, one and two are my top and my favorites, and I can do with, uh, without the other ones. Again, I'll forgive three. It's not terrible, but it isn't great. It isn't um, the originals. And I heard, well, I heard, I know that Disney Plus is coming out with their own. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I saw the cast that's supposed to be in it and I am not that excited for it. I'm actually not too optimistic. So we'll see how that goes. Definitely, right? Um, but uh, even if it's bad, I'll know I have I have the originals to fall back on. Those are the ones I care about most and the ones that I'll be watching for the rest of my life, I'm sure. Um, it's funny the way, I mean the humor in it, it's like crazy to me because a lot of that wouldn't pass. I mean, I think it's a family movie, 100%. So the fact that it's so, I don't know if violent is the right word, but like violent, <laughs> um, surprises me, definitely surprises me. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Um, that's what makes it funny. That's why I think it's funny and why it's great. It's all that, you know, comedic violence. Let's see. It's getting hard. They're all white pieces and I'm trying to find... Oh my gosh, this is going to be a very long video. Maybe I have to think this through. And this is only 500 pieces. I was hoping to do, you know, a whole 2,500 piece... Pu um, not puzzle, I'm sorry. A whole 2,500 piece build. Um... Again, I'll see how how this one goes. I'll pull I'll I'll post the full video for this one. And if I see that it's not doing that well, then maybe I'll I'll just do the speed build for other ones or do a hybrid of me building and then speeding through and then building. Again, I'm not an expert at editing and all that jazz. Not yet at least. I'm trying to learn. I have Skillshare, not sponsored <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> but um, I, I've been using, a f I've been taking a few classes there, trying to, you know, teach myself. Well, I don't guess, I guess I'm not teaching myself if I, if it's like a class format, but I'm trying to learn um, in order to, you know, make better content. So I don't know where I was going with this. Oh, so <laughs> if I am, you know, doing a hybrid or whatever of these videos, hopefully I'm able to edit them in a way that's pleasing to the eye. Okay, it looks like I'm holding this back. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay. There we go. I, I'm sure we'll, if, if that set releases, the Home Alone set, you bet your... I don't even know how the saying goes, but... You bet I'm going to run out and grab that one um, as soon as I can. It is, again, my favorite Christmas movie. Um, 
Am I gonna build it again? If it's if it's the way it sounds, it sounds good. It sounds like it's gonna be a big build. Um, then I might not build it right away. I might wait until I have a place to put it. But I mean, if you guys really want to watch it, I don't mind going ahead building it, risking it. Um, I just know that maybe. And it's risky. I'll probably try to store it and then if I take it apart, rebuild it later on. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, we have. Well, it's very really tedious, these, these pieces. <laughs> um, a lot of like s s building on the side and then adding it to the main build. Let's see. Okay, so I have that. Yeah, and this goes here, I believe, and then, yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm most excited for that set. I don't think I've heard anything else that's super, super, super exciting. Of course, um, the new Spider-Man sets for the Spider-Man movie. Oh my god, that trailer. Um, of course, I'm going to try to collect those. Maybe not all of them, just the ones I really do want. Let's see, there we go. Look at that. We're getting higher, that's cool. And we're almost done with this bag, I think. Mm, okay, let's not exaggerate. <laughs> okay, let's see. That, so this one goes where? How is that sticking? Is it like this? No, I don't think you're the right piece. I was missing a blue piece and I can't find it anywhere. Let me double check the bags. And of course, guess what? It was in the bag. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let me put that right more here. And again, hopefully my phone isn't blocking the the instructions. Okay, let's see. We're building this one. No. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm doing it backwards, of course. I'm all frazzled. My since the the camera start stopped recording. My audio was off, or wasn't working. So we'll, we'll see. What a what a crazy show. It's been a show. Okay. Let's do this. You live and you learn, I guess, right? Ah, uh, okay. I mean, it's better for you, maybe. It might be shorter than what I thought it was going to be. No, no, no. I think it's going to be long. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, yeah, let's see. It's not long if you watch it two times speed. Just saying. Super long one. I think it goes here. And then down here we get not you, not you. Not you. No, not you. Tedious little pieces. I mean I guess this is all where all the detail really comes out. With all these little pieces and whatnot. But I'll be honest, not my favorite part to build. So who knows how Lego architecture is gonna go. Five hundred pieces and it looks like it's gonna be super tiny, so very intricate. Again, just comment and let me know if you want me to build that Lego architecture in New York City. Okay. I don't know why I'm talking lower. My mic levels might be crazy. I'm trying to figure out Final Cut Pro and see <laughs> how to change my audio. I'm trying to figure out how to change my audio by parts rather than as a whole. So we'll see. Okay. I totally ignored the last step, I think. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I guess this is just another build. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, have you guys seen Lego Masters? <laughs> um, I actually watched it and I, you bet, I enjoy it. I think it's incredible. I would, honestly, I would never be able to, to, um, well, I feel like I wouldn't be able to go on the show and, like, build out of my pure creativity. Sounds stressful, and I'm very much a... Uh, I like to follow the instructions guy. I like having the manual. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, 
won't catch me there anytime soon at least but i would imagine having that title a lego master having your your um i'm trying to figure it out wait, wait, wait. okay we got this and we got oh it's like that huh interesting okay there we go see that you see that you see that okay. um yeah that'd be really cool um, when we went to Legoland New York, they actually had the first season's winners. I, for, I forget their names, but I took a picture with their build and with their plaque, and I thought that was so cool. I mean, I loved that build. I thought it was incredible. Um, it was huge in person. Like, TV does it no justice whatsoever. So, that was very, very exciting to see. Um, I, I actually think that in the show they mentioned that there's, their piece was going to be there. Totally forgot until I got there and I saw it and I'm like, oh, wait, whoa. I, yeah, that, that's here and pretty cool. Um, oh my gosh, there we go. Look at that. Look at my little castle. I, I honestly, I love how this is shaping up. I love the idea of this. Like if you can't, you know, if you can't get the bigger one this is definitely this is definitely a great option um granted you don't get all the minifigures and the rooms and the little easter eggs that are inside i'm telling you when you build it you're like oh man this is from this movie and this is from that movie um but this is such a cool set and like yeah even if you don't have the room to like display a big huge piece this is nice and compact like look at the size of this it's, it's, I know it's not done, it's a little taller, but like it's it isn't huge, so I think it's a very cool build. Definitely. I would recommend it ten out of ten. Um okay, let's see. I wanna make sure my audio is still recording, my video is still recording. Oh my goodness. A two hour video? No one's gonna watch that. I'm definitely probably gonna skip through a few part no, not skip, but fast forward if I'm able to figure that out again. Brand new to all of this. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, especially when I'm not dedicating, or at least, yeah, I'm not dedicating too much time to this. It's just, you know, for fun. And, yeah, I think editing, I wish I had a passion for it. <laughs> it's not the greatest, but I know it's necessary in order to make things look polished. And I noticed in my last videos, it's, it's a little cringy listening to myself. Um... So, that's been a thing. But we'll see. I mean, I hope I'm getting better video by video. I'm more comfortable with, you know, talking to you guys. Uh, again, I know you guys can't see me. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't think it's something you guys want <laughs> um, yet. So, it's not a big deal. I'm trying to find this last piece. Where is it? Do I have to go look back in the bag? Oh, no. It's right there. They're all white. <laughs> And they're all around the same size. So, yeah. Oh, so we're building, like, all the spires at the front. Very interesting. Okay, so I need you here. And then I need a double one. Probably the one I was using correctly. Not you. Um, where are you? Okay, here. There we go. And I, I feel like you guys can't see that well, <laughs> again, because it's in the angle, but here is our progress. You see already the door. It's very cool. The de I'm telling you, the details are insane with these. Um, so I guess I can talk about one set that I really want, and I'm hoping to get my hands on one day. Especially since I do have intentions of, you know, having a whole city or... I, I don't know what to call it. Lego City, I feel like that's a brand of a certain type of Lego. And I don't want to say, oh, I want a Lego City. Because that sounds like a set. But um, I want that Lego Diner that came out a few years ago. And I, I, I believe it is retired now. But, oh my goodness, I think that set is so cool. And I wish I didn't sleep on it. I wish I got it. <laughs> Not only that one, but the cinema as well, like the Lego Creator Expert cinema. Oh my goodness. Those two, I just wish they were around. I'm a little sad they're not. It's not fair. 
Um, the cool thing about LEGO is I feel like they, after a few years, they re-release something similar or very, you know, something, you know, a new, uh, an updated version of a lot of the sets they have. Let's see. Where do you go? I see you go. Do you go here? Or on? Okay, I'm going to assume. This is going to go. Well, okay. Let me see if I got this right. I used two of those. Two of the, yeah, I didn't. Oh, I think this is going to wrap around. Okay. I like the thinking of like, oh yeah, definitely. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. How genius is that? Okay, I just ruined it. Now I have to take it off. But, pretty genius. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Oh, I think we're doing it again. Okay, let's see. We have... Uh, one without and one with, and then this little it looks like a gold brick. This one, yes. Um, once I have that, I can clip it to this one, and that should house another one, another of the gold bricks. And that is going to, I guess, hook onto here. Ah, oh my god, how beautiful is this? I am very impressed. I'm in love. <laughs> oh, look at Mickey. He's so excited to have his castle all built. Okay, we're almost there. Less than 40 pages left. Well, maybe a little bit more, but... Who's counting, right? <laughs> okay, so, let's see. I hope I'm entertaining. I hope I'm not cringy. Um... Maybe I am, but I can't help it. Let me know, comment, let me know. Let me know if I should stop saying something. I mean, I've, I've been trying to stop saying um and again, but <laughs> the more I try, the more it comes out. So that's that, okay. So we are backwards right now, there we go. And then we have that, we skip one and then you go here. And then we have a uh, U right there. There we go. Don't you love how I like give these things some human like qualities? <laughs> Calling him and her you, talking to them. A little unsettling. I got it. I get it. I get it. Okay, let's see. We're almost there. Again, I'm gonna see how I edit this. I might have said something different at the beginning of the video, but granted, it's it's been a while. Or either I'm just not good at math. So, if you haven't noticed, I don't think you're going to catch this on camera, but these pieces are iridescent. I believe I'm saying that right. And the whole 50th anniversary at Disney World is like an iridescent theme, like the special outfits the characters have on. Um shimmer all the decorations shimmer and it's insane to me how beautiful it is and these windows like they look iridescent it's insane like the attention to detail i'm so happy that i was able to get the set um i don't know how hard it's going to be to find i honestly thought it was going to be a disney world exclusive and i and that i was never going to actually find this set but it, I mean, they released it at Lego, so. Well, <laughs> at Lego. Of course they released it. Um, but. In the Lego. Where is it? Let me see. One sec. I think I got it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they released it at the Lego stores and online. And I was so pumped because. I have bad luck when finding things in the wild. Um, and I knew that if I waited till. I made myself down, I made my, I made my way down there. There we go. See, I know, I know some sayings, but yeah, if I waited that long, I was never going to find it. So I'm so glad that they released it, um, at their stores and online. I know that the shop Disney app isn't the greatest all the time, especially when they release exclusive things. Um, things sell out quick and then you never know when the, it's going to go back and then you, if you 
end up ordering, you better hope you don't get it doesn't get canceled. It's a whole thing. But let's see, I think I did that wrong. There we go. No, I did that wrong again. What am I doing wrong? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Of course, of course. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Um let's see. These go up here. Oh my god, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Um yeah, so I'm just glad I was able to get my hands on this. I mean, it's such a beautiful build. Okay, let's see. Do I want to... Yes, like that. Of course. I mean, you need to see the other little castle. I think it goes... Why isn't it? Hmm. Maybe it does go... Oh, it does. Oh, of course. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, we're almost there. Um... Definitely, bag three is the longest so far. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. <laughs> a lot of small pieces again, and a lot of like repeating the small things. But oh, I dropped something. Let me grab that. Let's see. Another issue with Legos. Ah, oh, there we go. A spire. I think I said that right. Oh, come on, Nikki. Sorry. There we go. Um. Okay. Let's see. Two of these. These windows, my goodness, are awesome. Um, let me see. I think I'm almost done with height, honestly. Like the height of this thing. The next bag looks like it has bigger pieces, but it also has quite a few small ones. And again, I'm much more of like the bigger pieces. My, oh, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm building it all off camera. You're just sitting there saying, what the heck are you doing? Um, but, there we go. Oh, okay. But, and as I was saying, the next bag looks like it has bigger pieces, but it also has a lot of small pieces. My big fingers prefer and appreciate the smaller pieces. Okay, does this go here? It looks like it's angled, right? It looks like it's sitting on that. Oh, look at that. It fits like a glove. Look at that. Do you see the windows? Oh, I can't wait for this built. Okay, so we got this. We got a bunch of these. See, this is what more my speed. My fingers can handle this, but when it's a tiny little pieces and I can't find anything, um, they all look the same. It's it's not as enjoyable, but I do enjoy it. I'm not complaining. Well, maybe I am, but it's not what I'm trying to do. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We got one of these that goes like this. We got this square one that goes there. We got a two stud one, and then we have you. Okay. And then we have this one. And then we have this one. There we go. We're almost there, I promise. I feel like I've been saying that since <laughs> we started. Okay, two, and then we have this one. And then we have... It's easier when you get less pieces because you can find them quicker, but when you have sausage fingers like I do, it's a little harder to put together. Not finding them. At least right now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Looks like a glove. Okay. Oh. You go here? I was wondering. There we go. Oh my god. It's funny because when you put it on, it's like, oh. It does look nice. But I just spent like 10 minutes building that little piece and it adds to it, but a small amount. <laughs> okay, so we get this. Oh, nice. Okay. So I guess that doesn't matter. And we're going to put this one up there. And then the spire that I dropped with this blue. And, yeah. So let me know in the comments. I mean, feel free to comment multiple times. I'll be forever grateful. But, yeah, let me know which, which Disney park is your favorite. Like I said before, my favorite is definitely Magic Kingdom, but Hollywood Studios is a close second. And it's funny because my favorite ride isn't in either of these parks. My favorite ride is Dinosaur, and it's an Animal Kingdom. And I... Absolutely love that ride. I love everything. Everything about that ride. 
I love the pre-show. I love the the dinosaurs that don't end up moving and are stuck in the <laughs> frozen in time. But um, yeah, definitely my favorite sh ride, and I'll be super sad when the inevitable comes and they replace it. I had the Indiana Jones ride in in Disneyland in California is better. It's the same type of ride, just themed to Indiana Jones. I heard it's better, but I don't know. Something about Dr. Seeker and the Iguanodon you're finding, you're trying to find. I feel like nothing can top that. Oh, okay, let's do that. Oh my God, these pieces are so nice. I don't know if you can tell, but like these are shining again. They feel like they have glitter in them. They're not as iridescent as like the windows, but beautiful pieces. Oh my lanta. This is gonna be a lot to edit. Do I have to rethink everything? This is why I think a live would be much more fun. Cause I can just sit and like not worry about editing. I'll just sit and talk. And hopefully respond to some of you and get feedback right away. Rather than hoping you guys are listening to me. <laughs> but I, I know, again, I know I'm a long way from there. It, and it's not an issue for me at all. It's just... Um, you know, for this type of video, I definitely see that being a better way to. Oh, okay. Look at me going ahead and not knowing what I'm doing. So now it gets to the point where this side of the book is going to need it. Okay. I hope you guys can see that. A little glare. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Doof. So I'm going to mention this again at the end if I remember. Granted. Am I going to remember? Probably not. But, <laughs> um, this set, I believe, cost $35.99. I, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I'll link it in the description in case you do want to find it. Like I said, online, it seemed like it was on back order. Um, which, again, isn't a bad thing. It means you're just not going to get it as quick as you want. So... Yeah, I'll make sure I link it and pick, I mean, I recommend you you pick yourself. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, do you go here? Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. I was like, I knocked one down and I was like, where, where did you come from? Um. Yeah, if you want to pick one up, I recommend it 100%. Okay, let's see. We have two here, and where do these go? Oh, these go face down like that? That is so weird. Oh, no, they go in. Oh, that's so smart, actually. I but oh. They're supposed to be the little gates. How cool is that? What? You know, the details. That's what impresses me. The details, the parts I don't like building, are the parts that impress me the most. Okay. Beautiful. And then I do have to put... Again. This is where, where it gets my... My stress comes in. It's like, where's the piece? Where's the piece? I don't want to take too long finding the piece. Um, who knows what I'm going to keep in? Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> okay. I guess I did find one. So that's good. Looking for like a little this. I need another one of those. Mm, okay. Okay, let me know if this is something you enjoy. And if you don't, I mean, you can let me know in a nice way. I mean, I haven't faced too much criticism yet. I know it's coming. We'll see how I take it out. Hopefully I don't take it personal. Hopefully I see everything as a growing opportunity. And hopefully I learn from mistakes. I mean... If you didn't know... I'm... Here... To learn. To learn. 
it's funny because I've been thinking of, you know, starting a YouTube channel for a while and um, doing something like this where I'm doing something I enjoy um, and taking you along with me. Uh, and I just never had the courage. Again, I'm very, I've always hated my voice on camera, being on camera. Um, because I'm a little bit camera shy. <laughs> but, yeah, here I am. I, I don't know, I don't know what it was. I just said, you know what it was? I guess I needed an excuse to spend, I, I needed an excuse, I needed an excuse to spend a bit more money. That's my, my, my theory. And I said, you know what? I want to buy these minifigures. I want to buy this Lego set. I want to buy my Amiibo cards. I want to buy this. I want to buy that. Um, but I need a reason. Give it, you know, giving myself an excuse. I need a reason, you know? And I was like, you know what? I'll buy them, but I have to use them. I mean, I have to make videos with them and upload them and share it with the world. And that way you have a good excuse of, you know, purchasing them. And I think that's what really sparked me, sparked that in me. And honestly, 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 with the moment I found the, the, um, the Marvel minifigures at Joann's, I found the eight packs and I was like, oh my God, these are hard to find. I should get them. That was the moment I was like, you know what? This is it. I'm going to go ahead and start a video and, or start making videos. And I won't open these until I make that video. Like, I'm not going to open them. And I I had them for a few days. And I was like, oh my god, I just want to open them. And, you know, I I held back. And I was, I'm glad I did. That's what motivated me to actually start. Let me see. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because this is not sticking. But it might be the wrong gold piece. So let's see. I'm sorry, book. There we go. Oh. Okay, sorry. Um, let's see. It is a small one. And on top of this... Yeah, it's supposed to just slide in there. Oh, that... Well, maybe I didn't pull it all the way. Okay. That's that. Okay. I'm gonna put that here. does go all the way. I just want to make sure I place it correctly and then it's telling me to grab two of these, these hooks and those go here. Do I push them in? Oh my gosh, wow. I like these little binocular looking things. I'm pretty sure be, they'll become like fencing or something but it's interesting to me how to use pieces or reuse pieces I guess different things. Okay, look at that. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, we have like less than 10 pages left. I promise. And look, it's looking pretty good, if you ask me. Okay. Oh, so now we want them the opposite way. Pointing up. Okay, okay, I see where I'm going wrong. Okay. Let's see. So it's just like this. <laughs> uh, I think I was right there. Did they start? They did start with the top. So I'm gonna do the top first, and then once I have the top, I should be able to pull the bottom right back in. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's exactly why. Of course, they thought this through. It's just me trying to change the rules. Where's the other one? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Do you see it? Let's see, maybe you guys can find it faster than I can. Oh, I found it, see? I'm pretty sure I was faster than you. <laughs> okay, let's see, okay, good. That should have taken much less time, but here we are, we're in the last bag, okay? So, we're almost there. We're in the home stretch. Okay, there we go. And then I have this pull right down to the middle. Then we have this gear that looks amazing. I'm gonna put it down there. Then I have these as traffic lights. That's what they look like. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Look, I'm here blocking the pieces I need. Yeah, it looks like 
two of these and then two long ones that are going to go like that. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. You know, when things come together, it's fun. Oh, okay. So that's where these come in. Apparently, you can just put them like that. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to do quite a few of these. There's a few traffic lights. Does it say five times? No, it doesn't. Maybe the next one is a little bit different. Okay. And then we're going to I guess stick this through. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope that's not trademarked or copyrighted or all that fancy limbo. Oh, look at these. These are so gold compared to like the other gold here. It's like shimmering. Shiny shimmer. Oh, no, let's not go there. Okay, let's do that. Then we'll do a blue. Wait, 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 wait. Blue. Oh, no. This one, then blue, and then this smaller one. And this goes on top. Look at that. So intricate. I am obsessed. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it doesn't fit. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, which one? This one? <gasps> Five times. <laughs> one. <sighs> Should I do them all? Yeah, I'm going to do them all. At the same time. Okay. have one more spot but I'm assuming that one looks different and I'm assuming right I need two of these well yeah okay we got it one two oh three nice Three. Oh my gosh, I can taste the end. Yeah, I sing a little bit, but mm, it won't sing well, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm looking in the back, it looks like on these two spires, on the back of the castle, we'll go like that. And then three of these. See that piece? I'm gonna be very sad. Do you see it? Oh. I don't think they ever got a piece. It's me. I'm not excited that I'm done. I'm excited that it's not gonna be any longer for you, the watch. I would. That's the only thing about Legos. Like you build it once, and it's so hard to like destroy, it and then rebuild it or build, or build something else. I really don't understand those creator 3-in-1 kits. I think they're cool, but like, like I could never bring to destroy one of my creations and then build it. But I guess it adds to the playability. So I get, I get it. I definitely get it. It's just personally taking one. So like if I really like one and I want to build both, I'm definitely going to buy more than one set. And I, I mean, that could also be the, a marketing strategy, right? Reselling the same thing to get oh, okay. yeah, reselling the same thing to get more profits out of it. I mean, it's smart making three sets out of the same Lego pieces. That's genius, genius, genius. But I definitely couldn't bring myself to destroy it 
for the most part. Okay, let's see. Okay. That was a little bit tedious, but this one goes right there. Yes. Nice. Okay. Is this it? No. <gasps> dum, ba -dum, dum, dum, dum. Okay, let me move this more to the center. I was gonna make him mouse ready. Not that you can see him. Again, I'm figuring this camera angle thing out too. Oh my god. Is that it? Oh my gosh, isn't it beautiful? I'm kidding, you guys can't even see. Yeah, I finished, look. Oh, these are extra pieces. You know, I love that they include extra pieces. Sometimes I wish it was more extra pieces. <laughs> But oh my goodness, take a look. Look at it. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, the details on this. Oh my goodness. And it's hard to show, but if you look in between the castle gate, you'll see the gate. Well, the castle door, you'll see the gate and the little minifigures, these little guys that they placed in there. They look like people walking through the castle. You can see the other side clearly, which is very cool. Let's see, let's see if you can see. It's hard to see there, let me see. Oh, it's hard to see, but you can see a little bit of the white background from in between. But yeah, that's, oh my gosh. I mean, Mickey's a little bit out of scale, but um, I love it. I have no complaints um, other than a nice addition would have been those plaques that they sell with some of the sets. That would have been awesome. But other than that, I mean, it's such a cool set. I'm obsessed with this set. Seriously. So I definitely recommend this 10 out of 10. Again, I believe this retailed for $35.99 or $34.99. Something along that line. Um, I will definitely um, link the description in the description. Um, the product on lego.com and hopefully you're able to get your hands on one if you really want it. Thank you again for joining me in this <laughs> incredibly long video. I truly appreciate all of you for sticking through it. Um, you know, give me a like and if you made it through all of it, why don't you comment with a castle emoji? Let's try that. Comment with a castle, em castle emoji and I'll know that you watched all of it. And yeah, give me some feedback too. I would love to know if you enjoyed this, if you want to see other sets, if you want to see bigger sets, smaller sets. Um, I'm willing to build them and upload them. Give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.